Hey, United Worship Experience, I'm Gilbert Thurston, and welcome to my crib. Well, again, welcome to our crib. This is what we call our hallway of inspiration. We have various pictures on the walls, and we just really use them to inspire ourselves. This one I really like, it's called The Essence of Imagination. It says, what we can easily see is only a small percentage of what is possible. Imagination is having the vision to see what is just below the surface, to picture that which is essential, but invisible to the eye. You know me, I love vision, so I really like that picture there. So come on into my office with me. As we first walk into my office here, I have a whole bookshelf that's full of different magic books. As many of you know, I used to be a professional magician, and so I've got things here on card magic and coin magic, all kinds of different things. But there's two books that I really want you to see, and they're actually not even books of tricks. These are books that were written about who I jokingly kid my great uncle Howard. Uh, Howard Thurston was a very famous magician back in the 1920s, and these two books were limited edition books about him that were put out, only 500 copies of each. I've got copies of both, and so these are very, very special to me. As we continue here in my office, this is the area where I do my daily devotions every day. And over here to my right, we have nothing but books about Christianity. And I wanted to show you just a couple of my favorites. The first book that I have is something that Lisa gave to me just a couple days after I got saved back in 1993. And it's a Bible. It's an NIV study Bible. And you can see I really put this one to good use. It's all falling apart. And I just thank her for that. Then my favorite Bible that I have is actually over here. This one was actually printed in 1830. And it just goes to show you how long the Word of God has been around. It's amazing. And then this is the other part of my office. I uh, spend a lot of time sitting in this particular chair. I've got a laptop over to my right. I've got a desktop over to my left. I can get on the internet. I can search my Bible programs. I can do all kinds of stuff because right here in this chair is where all the sermon stuff gets done every single week. And in addition, I have some fun in here as well. I try to play some games occasionally or get on ESPN's uh, website. I love sports. So I'm used to being in this chair all the time. I'm tired of it, so let's take you to another part of the house. As we continue on the tour, I want to show you this picture. My mom and dad and my sister got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago. And this picture of Jesus was drawn by a young man at West Point who was hospitalized. And one day he just picked up a pad of paper and a pencil and began to draw. Four hours later, he wasn't even aware of what he was drawing, but he had come up with this picture of Christ. And I think it's uh, really neat. Let's go on to the living room. I'll show you some other cool stuff there. Well, here we are in the living room next to one of my favorite possessions. This is the big screen TV that Lisa got for me a couple years ago when I graduated from college. Let's see if there's anything on today. A couple other things that we have that are pretty cool. We got the TiVo over there. That's God's gift to mankind. We've got other cool things, surround sound and everything here in the living room. Oh, look, what's on TV? It's uh, me. That's uh, amazing that that would be on right now. All right, well, let's uh, head on out toward the kitchen. See if there's anything to eat out here. Come on. So here we are then in the kitchen. This is our uh, really cool microwave. It actually grills. I don't know how it does it, but it makes some really good steak. So we grill a lot of stuff in our microwave. Go over here to the uh, refrigerator. This is probably one of the rare times that we actually have something in it. Uh, yeah, it looks like we actually have more leftovers from other places than we actually have other food, but that's a little bit of that. Not much to see there. Maybe the coolest thing that we have right now is this thing. This is, a, it looks like an ice cream cone, but it actually was made by a friend of ours. It's hot chocolate mix, hot chocolate with the uh, chocolate morsels and the marshmallows there, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's the end of the first floor. Let's head on upstairs. All right, well, as we come to the upstairs, thought I'd take you to the rec room here, do a little workout while I'm recording this video for you. And actually, you know, the truth of the matter is, this is probably only about the fifth time I've actually ever used this thing, but it's pretty cool, total jam. And then uh, over here, we got another cool thing. Thought I'd sit down and play a little piano. I don't think a lot of you know that I can actually do this, but anyway, we'll give it a try. All right, here we go.
here we are in my closet. Just pretty much a normal closet, normal clothes for a normal guy like me. But ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Here it is, the shock of all shocks. Look at all those suits and ties that are over there. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I know. I don't wear any of them, but hey, I've got them. Well, come on, let's get out of here. Let's head over to the bedroom. Well, as we head on down the hall, we've got some family photos and things over here on the right-hand side. we got Lisa's office over here on the left. But, ladies and gentlemen, as they say on the show, this is where the magic happens. In fact, I can remember something that happened just last night. Watch this. Lisa, come on! You ready for some fun? Here, pick a card, any card. Well, what did you think was going to happen? Well, you know, I've got to get back to work. I've got a lot more preparation to get done before this week's experience. So I hope that you enjoyed your time here at my crib. And I will see you in just a few more 